Once you've downloaded the HEG pipe cutting installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure that it's pointing to the correct data directory. The HEG plugin will send out a PCD file to work with HEG for all pipe and tube materials. All holes and notches that are at the ends of the material will be automatically exported, but for the rest we'll want to run our HEG component. The HEG component will use custom properties, so you'll want to make sure that you have it active in your setup. If I go to my home screen and job custom properties, and in the material there'll be an HEG ProCam CP. Now when I go back to the model and change my selection filter to material, I'll edit the post and we'll see the HGG and my custom properties. This will store the GUID information for ProCam. You will now see two HGG icons in your toolbox ribbon. One is for adding the macro and the other is for the export. When I go to run the component for this handrail, it will work similar to the fit command. I'll select the material to fit, which will be my post, and the material to fit to, which will be my top rail. This handrail doesn't need a fit operation applied, but I'll show an example shortly to apply the fit command all in one step. I can then apply the macro to this pipe material. I may already know what macro to apply from working with HGG, but I can also go to my help and see all these examples. By looking at the pictures, I know that I need a saddle. I can also apply a bevel, establish a root opening, or shrinkage options as well. I will need to do this for each material, but for time's sake, I will just show it on the post and mid rail. If I edit the post material and take a look at the custom properties field, you'll now see that the GUID information is filled out. If I were to add my own pipe, then I can add the fit operation at the same time as applying the HGG macro. For this example, I'll just do the fit exact and do the saddle again. When you are finished, you can do a pre-selection or a post-selection for the export. By default, the member selection will be filtered to just show the members that have pipe or HSS materials attached. It doesn't have to be the main material. So if I select this beam, it won't highlight because it doesn't have any pipe or HSS material attached to it. In the export window, it will show the path on where to save this PCD file. It will also show every member and material and then the macro that's applied. If I select my material in the list, it will highlight in the model as well. I could make modifications in here as I export by unlocking the field. Once this is finished, I will want to open this in the latest version of ProCam. I'm going to use the ProCam Lite Viewer. You'll see that my holes automatically exported. I had this handrail as galvanized, so I had the internal and external vent holes. And you'll see any macros that are applied. If I had any notches at the end of my material, they would also be exported.